Hello everyone, good morning, and welcome back to another story time with Flock. My name is Tanya, and I have a really cool book today. It is called Don't Touch My Hair by Cherie Miller. So let's go ahead and get started. Don't Touch My Hair by Cherie Miller. I'm Aria. And this is my hair. I love my hair. It's soft and bouncy and grows up towards the sun like a flower. I love it up or down, styled or wild. I don't care. I just want it to be free. Actually, everyone loves my hair too. When I walk down the street, I hear so many compliments. It's so big. How did you get it so fluffy? I wish I had hair like that. It's great that people love my hair, but some people love it so much they want to touch it. I don't like this. They ask, what does it feel like? They are so curious about my hair, they try to touch it without even asking for permission. Oh, I want to feel. Me too. I get very good at avoiding hands. I have to start looking for ways to hide my hair. I try blending in with the scenery but I'm quickly spotted. Over here. I try hiding underwater, but that doesn't last long. Oh wow, I love your hair. Can I touch it? I escape to the jungle, but the critters just can't keep their hands to themselves. They ask, let me touch it. Me first. No, me. Even in the tallest castle tower, every someone is always there, ready and waiting to touch my hair. Girl, your hair is fierce. No matter how far I go, it doesn't seem to matter. They ask, how do you get it so big? Finally, I find a place where no one wants to touch my hair, but after a few hours, I get lonely. I decided to go home. I try my best to ignore the attention but as a hand sinks into my hair, I decide I can't take it anymore. Wow, it looks so soft. Oh, it is so soft. That's it. That's enough. Don't touch my hair. This is my hair. It's great that you love it. I love it too. But please, just look and don't touch without my permission. The next time someone wants to touch my hair, they ask, Can I touch your hair? I reply, 
Not today. Okay. Now, it feels great to walk down the street without anyone trying to touch my hair. My curls are free to reach for the sun just like a flower. Some people still ask to touch my hair, but if I say no, they listen. How are you today? Hello. But if you ask nicely, sometimes I say yes. And that is the end of our book, Don't Touch My Hair by Sheree Miller. I really hope you liked it. I really liked the illustrations. Um, tune in next week at the same time for another story here at Flock. Thank you all very much for coming and have a good rest of your weekend.